how to turn Microsoft Windows Boot into a multifunctional boot. Here I got a Windows 11 25H2. I will just press right click, 7-zip and extract two. You will find the download links for this file in the description. You press right click and extract here. Now I don't need this file anymore. I will go inside and I will find DISM GUI. Press right click and run as administrator. In here I will choose choose one file and I will go inside the extracted ISO files, sources and boot.wim. Now I will press on mount location. First, before I press on mount location, I need to create a folder. I will name it mount. Okay, now I will go back, choose folder, and I will choose mount, the folder that I created. Okay, then I will choose an index, I will choose number two, and I will press mount. Okay, now I'm done mounting. If you want to remember the steps, I left a file called help. You will find in it the steps of how to do it. Extract, mount, copy the files. So I will copy the files inside this. Click, right click, copy, back, back, inside, mount, right click, and paste. Do this for all current items, continue. Okay, I am done in this step. I need I will go back to the file and it says extract these files. How do I extract these files? I will go inside my extracted ISO files, sources, install, dot wim, right click, 7-zip, open archive, go back, go back, and I will go to mount, windows, system32, then I will go here, 7-zip, I will go in one, Windows System32 and I will find the files that are mentioned here MSI I will grab the file and put it here yes the next file is OLE DLG OLE DLG move the file take it outside press confirm and we are done with this step we finished this step I will go back, press refresh, I will go back, 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 go back to the ISMG UI, press dismount and press yes. Okay, now I need, I don't need this anymore, I can close this. Then I will go into my function boot, the file that I bought in the description, go into kit, start it, close this window. And I will go to Advanced WIM Registry Editor, press on Browse, and I will insert Z Boot WIM. Then I will press two clicks on Microsoft Windows Setup. I will press two left clicks. This is we are going to modify the registry files. Then I will press on System and Load Hive, Load Selected. I will go to setup and I will modify C MIDI line. I will copy this X start bat and I will paste it here. Okay. And I will close. Then I press on it. Unload hive, unload selected, close, save and rebuild. Now I have finished the modify registry file. Okay, and it has finished. I will go to basic, all in one curator, and I will do a rebuild. Okay, now I have finished modifying. I will close this. I will go to ISO Maker. I will insert this folder. Go to browse. I will click on this folder and press select folder. ISO output. I will save it here and I will write the name 11 25H2 multi functional boot save and remove the sign from rebuild image credit iso
and we are done we finished all the steps convert the folder to iso file we already finished the step now we just need to test the new iso file I will test it in VMware if you want to test it by burning it on your USB flash drive using Rufus or Fintoy and booting from your USB flash drive you will see the following I will insert it in VMware and start and as you can see we got the multifunctional boot this is the installation if you press on this you got all these programs and you got a file explorer here you got access to all the programs if you want to go back go back you will find all the partitions and everything you got on your pc if you want to access the programs again you go to put program files and you can access all the programs all these programs work without any issues if you want to go to the installation press alt tab alt tab and you got the installation you can proceed like there is no changes at all if you want to see the difference between the normal boot and this boot we will look at it this is the normal microsoft boot and this is your new boot with all the programs you got and the windows installation you can access any of these programs it works 100 percent you got macro edit partition expert if you're planning to repartition your disk drive before installing the windows you got everything you need cpu that and all the good stuff without any issues just remember to not close this window if you close this window you will get a restart and as you can see the difference it's way much better i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and share the video with whoever you might think need this video and i will see you in the next video